Hello, I am Eduardo Choa, President of California State University at Monterey Bay. It is my pleasure to welcome friends, families, supporters, faculty, staff, and graduates to this ceremony. Each of you has impacted the CSUMB graduates we celebrate today. We thank you for recognizing their achievements. CSUMB's founding vision calls for developing a community where we all learn and teach one another in an atmosphere of mutual respect and inclusive excellence. At CSUMB, we have watched these graduates demonstrate this learning, teaching, and mutual respect through work with faculty inside and beyond the classroom, with service learning in our communities, and with staff throughout various endeavors. CSUMB's graduate cultivate a path of being independent thinkers with the ability to innovate through curious and persistent inquiry. A CSUMB degree is a testament to that work and initiative. Graduates, whether you are the first in your family to attend college or part of a lineage of higher education, your achievement is your own. Never forget to dream big and bold and boundless. As Nelson Mandela said, when you let your light shine, you unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we celebrate your accomplishments at CSUMB, we look forward to the bright futures for each of you and for the positive impacts you will have in our communities. We look forward to your personal achievements and your ability to continue your work as valued leaders in our global society. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Dr. Vanessa Lopez Olton, Associate Professor of Public Administration and Nonprofit Management and Chair of the Department of Health, Human Services, and Public Policy. I'm also an Army veteran. I am honored to deliver the 2021 Spring Commencement Address to the graduating class of veterans at California State University, Monterey Bay. I am proud of each of you and what you have accomplished. This year has been an incredible year for so many different reasons. Yet, you have arrived at this moment through your hard work, dedication, and commitment. You made it. You are graduating during one of the most challenging times in our nation's history. There remains so much uncertainty about the COVID-19 pandemic, including our return to some semblance of normalcy. Yet there is hope. As military veterans, you know what endurance and perseverance are. You lived it. You recognize the need to hold out hope, continue to do so. You recognize that you as an individual are part of a collective we, and together we are capable of so much. One of my most vivid memories from my military service was waking up in basic training early, early, earlier in the morning and doing road marches. I remember when someone fell behind, we had to go back and get them. We didn't leave anyone behind. It reminds me of the word Sankofa, which is a word from the Akan people in Ghana. It translates to go back and get it. The word is often symbolized as a metaphorical bird with its head turned backwards, taking an egg from its back. That resonates with me. And it resonates with me particularly, you know, deeply at this moment because our survival from this pandemic as well as any other threat that we may face, is that a united front is stronger, is more powerful than anything that we can do alone. We are definitely stronger together. And I think this is so pivotal at this moment in our society where the harsh reality is we have so much to do in moving towards a more just and equitable society, but we're just not there yet. The reality on the ground says, take care of yourself as an individual, meet your own needs, 
first and foremost. But my words here today are not just about you as an individual. It's about what you mean to society. You are a military veteran, and that says something about you and your willingness to sacrifice yourself for your country. What your degree from CSUMB says about you is that you have a pivotal role to play in making this world a better place, that you accept your role in moving us closer and closer and closer to a more just and equitable society. I don't know, I feel some kind of way when I start to think about the vast amount of, unpoten of untapped potential that each of you possess. And I think to myself, that this degree that you're receiving today marks the beginning and not the end of tapping into that vast potential. So today, even though this message and these ceremonies are virtual, we're not gonna mourn that these graduation ceremonies, um, you didn't get to physically show up in person, but we're gonna revel in this moment we're gonna acknowledge all that you have accomplished and all the tremendous hope and possibilities and what you mean for the future and betterment of this society. Your commitment, your resolve, you did it, you made it. You've done what so many other people have not been able to accomplish. But I will tell you that there is so much work to do and I'll also tell you a secret, that you are more than prepared for this journey. CSUMB has prepared you for the work ahead. CSUMB has prepared you for the journey, for the road, for the work. You are ready. You are more than enough. You are prepared. You are accomplished. And you are ready to go. Oh, as my drill sergeants say, you are good to go, right? Our country needs you. Our society needs you to be fired up, motivated, dedicated to shape a future that you want to be a part of. So my parting words to you are this. Congratulations, dear graduates, on your outstanding achievement. I wish you much luck, more, much success, and much happiness. Good luck on your next mission. Enjoy and go Otters. Vanessa Isela Vanda Flores, VA Psychology. Mackenzie Don Gallagher, VA Social and Behavioral Sciences. Leanne Gonzalez, MSW, Master of Social Work, Magna Cum Laude. Tony Lee, MBA, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Adam Ernest Ortega, BA, Kinesiology. Armando Placetta, MBA, Master of Business Administration. Lola Jolene Sager, MBA, Master of Business Administration. Kenneth Townen, BS, Collaborative Health and Human Services. Sierra Williams, BS, Human Development and Family Science. 